All right, guys, today we are testing another shallow mount sub on our four sub shootout that we're doing videos on this month. So please subscribe and you'll see the four different shallow mounts I'm gonna review and a shootout at the end. And today we're looking at the NVX SMW 10 D4, 350 watt, 10 inch shallow mount subwoofer. Now specs on this say about 0.75 cubic foot sealed and about 1.25 cubic foot ported. It does have a mounting depth of three and a quarter inches and a two inch voice coil. And it's stated at 350 RMS. Now this is the cheapest uh, shallow mount tan I'm doing in this test at coming in at $79. And I'll put links in the description below if you wanna check this out. But it does have a hard carbon fiber dust cap and a nice foam surround. It feels like natural rubber more than it does foam. And you have the rubber gasket ceiling ring around. Let's get it flipped over and I'll show you guys the back. Okay, so here's the back. This thing does have a pretty beefy looking magnet for a shallow mount. Nice uh, wrinkle finish on the uh, basket. Magnet bumper. This is a pretty nice looking little sub. You do have push terminals on each side. And there you can see it says 350 RMS and this is the dual forum. So we're gonna go ahead and have this in a 0.6 cubic foot sealed box because most people that are running these are just short on space, so they're gonna be running sealed. And we're gonna hook it up to a 650 watt RMS true power amp and just see how well it handles the power and see how it sounds and then compare all the four at the shootout video in the end. So let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up. Okay, so we got this NVX 10 hooked up and keep in mind on the meter that you're going to see not 650 watts, even though this is a 650 watt amp. Because with when you put a subwoofer in a box, the impedance changes and it's always less. So these sub is wired to 2 ohms. It's probably going to be closer to 3 or 4, which this is rated at 350 RMS, so it should be perfect. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds and how well it handles the power. Alright guys, so there you have it. This sub did pretty good. Um, it didn't hit the low lows quite as low as some of the other shallow mounts that I have tested. Um, but it sounded pretty good. It wasn't super punchy. It was more of a smooth, soft sounding subwoofer. Definitely, you heard it bottom out in the video when it hit about 380 watts. So I think the 350 watts is pushing it a little bit. But keep in mind, with impedance rise you're not going to see that in a car. So this is wired at 2 ohm final, and it was about 3 or 4 ohms. So you can go a little more, but just keep that in mind. Really a couple hundred watts, which it would be like about a 400 watt amp, real power amp would be fine for this. You're not really going to get any more out of it, pushing it any harder. And if you go uh, ported, it's even going to take less power because there's not going to be any back pressure against it. 
So overall, it was a pretty good sounding sub. It's definitely inexpensive. So if you're looking for something for cheap, these are $79. I'll put a link in the description. Even though it did bottom out when it hit about 350 or 400 watts, as we saw in the meter, it didn't break, nothing burn up. So it did pretty good. It's a nice little sub for the money. And again, keep an eye out. I'm going to be doing three other shallow mount subs after this one and a shootout at the end. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.